Hi Metricoolers, welcome to our Metricool tutorial. In today's specific video, we are going to be talking about Metricool Smart Links, our all-in-one link and bio tool. If you haven't seen the previous videos in our course, make sure to check out our YouTube channel for all of those. But in today's specific video, I'm going to walk you through exactly what Smart Links are, how to create one, how to add customizations, and even how to track the analytics for your Smart Links. Let's get on into the video. <laughs> So today we are talking about Smart Links. Smart Links has its own dedicated tab right in Metricool. So you'll want to make sure that you're in Smart Links if you're following along. But if you don't know what Smart Links are, let me tell you, Smart Links are our version of an all-in-one link and bio tool. So for example, as you know, many social media platforms only allow you to have one link in the bio or they're very limited in the customizations of how many links you can drive traffic to, right? So Smart Links makes it so that you can send your users, your followers, to that one link that will house many of the important links to anything that you want to drive traffic to. That could be a blog post, that could be your website, that could be your YouTube channel, another social media platform. We make it so that all of your links are in one place, they all look nice, they're super customized, and it's a great feature. So I'm gonna teach you today how to create your very own smart link, a couple of the super nice customization features we offer, as well as how you can even see your smart links analytics all within Metricool. So to begin, this is the general smart links page. So as you can see, we already have a nice smart link created. We actually have multiple and we do offer smart links for both our free and premium plans. Premium plans unlock a bit more functionalities and customizations. So you'll want to keep that in mind, but I'm going to just take you from the very beginning. So for example, here you can see all of your smart links. So we have one for Instagram, one for TikTok and one for Pinterest. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna click on new so that we can create our own. So we wanna click accept, hit new. We're gonna create our very own smart link. So as you can see right here, we have a very basic, simple one right now. So you wanna give it a name. So I'm gonna give this one test en, and then it's gonna have its own URL. If you would like, you can customize this URL as you'd like. And we also have this nice copy button so that if you do need to paste this into multiple locations, you can hit copy makes it super easy. So we're gonna start right here in settings on buttons. So with the buttons, you can click on add a button or add a section. These are already the ones that are already preset in, but for the button text, for example, let's say, let's say we wanted this to go on our Instagram and we wanted a button to head to our TikTok. So we can put in TikTok on the text. You can even change the text color and the background color and customize it that way. And you can put in that URL. So let me go to TikTok and grab that link. So I paste in that TikTok URL. As you can see, we also have a disable button. So if I click that, you'll see that it goes away. And if not, it puts it back. We have a clone button and the trash can button. Trash can if you wanna get rid of it. Clone if you want to duplicate it. So let's say for example, you already picked your nice text and your specified color. And let's say you just want to change the title of the text and the URL. You can click clone and then you could put in, let's say, for example, Twitter. And then, you know, just change that link. Cloning just makes it easy to duplicate and make this process a little bit faster for you. And like I said, you can go ahead and add more buttons as you please. Then if you go down, you can also add in those icons. So as you can see, the preview populates on the right hand side. So we have our logo in the metrical EN and then those two buttons we added as well as those standard buttons that aren't filled in yet. And the, the icons are at the bottom here. So you can see we have Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. You can change these icons to other social media platforms if you'd like. So let's say if you don't necessarily want a direct link to just your overall TikTok because you already linked it below, you can change this and you can make that TikTok and then that TikTok link is there to stay. Link to your actual TikTok. Again, you can delete as many icons as you want or you can add more as you please. And you can even easily just move them around in importance. So let's say Instagram is the most important to you, followed by TikTok and last YouTube. You can really easily move those up and down by just selecting onto them and then, you know, using your cursor to move them up and down. You can also do that as well with those buttons here. 
You can even add a section. So this section right here will have a header and you can change the title of that header. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that because I don't want a section added, but that is an option for you if you would like to separate it by the section. Then if we go over to one, we'll go to media and this is where you can add an image, you can add a video or you can add from Instagram. So if your Instagram is connected, this is one of my favorite features of SmartLinks. I can pick any image from our feed and add it in. So let's say I wanted, let's say I wanted to put in our birthday post. You select the image and then you just have to put in the URL. So you can put in the URL straight to that Instagram post or let's say I had a blog post about our birthday and I wanted to put that blog post in but I wanted to associate it with that photo. You have plenty of customization options there already, but you can also add an image from your computer or from the URL, or you can add from video, which is again, from your computer or from a URL. And that is just another fun little way that you can further customize what you want your smart link to look like. And then if we go over to that last toggle, you can change the appearance. So we have multiple preset themes that you can choose. We also have the ability to add a header image, which in this case is our logo. You can put in a title, which is right here, as you see, and then you can even put in a description. So we can put test smart link for YouTube course. You can also change the text color and add that further customization. You can change the background to a solid background and pick a color with our color picker. You can do a gradient background. So you can do the two colors and what you want that to fade to, or you can do an image where you select an image from your computer or from a URL. You can also customize those buttons if you wanna make them more round, if you wanna add a shadow, if you wanna do fill or outline, if you wanna customize the images to the number of columns, the gap between the columns, if you want the images to have rounded features, if you wanna feature the last image. And once you have picked all of those customizations, you can go ahead and click save and that automatically saves your smart link as is, as you made it look all nice and customized. And I'm not gonna save this one because again, this is the test. I'm actually just gonna go back to ones that we have previously saved so that I can show you a little bit of the difference between them and why we have multiple smart links for different platforms. So I'm back into the metrical Instagram smart link. And on this right hand side, you'll see that this is the preview. I can click on view live and it'll actually take me to what the page looks like live. Um, but you see right here, we have all of these links. So upcoming webinar, we have our free templates. We have older webinars we want people to look at. We have specific blogs we've linked, our TikTok study. And if you even scroll down, we have our icons linked as well as a hard hitting image that we want people to click on. So we've completely customized this specifically for Instagram. And then if we go to TikTok, for example, we'll see that this one is a little bit different similar but not completely the same so we don't actually have very many differences with the tiktok one but we do have a couple of different webinars listed that are specific to tiktok and if we click into pinterest you'll see that this is actually our most simplified smart link this one actually contains more of a general view of our link so we have of course our tiktok study linked we have our website we have just our general newsletter like the subscription to it our general youtube channel our general blog page so you can make your smart link however you like. You can make it super detailed. You can put general links there. The customization is really up to you and what you want to drive your traffic to. And like I said before, if for example, you wanted to clone any of these, all you would need to do was hit clone. Or if you wanted to delete them, you can easily do that as well. We also have a reset button if you wanna reset everything and start from scratch. And another really great feature that we also have is the analytics for your smart links. So I'm gonna actually go back into the Instagram smart link and we're gonna click into the analytics pane for that. So it's right next to settings. You just click right into analytics and you'll see that you can choose the time frame similar to our analytics section on Metricool that you could always choose that time frame. So I actually only wanna do, let's say the last 30 days or let's do, actually let's do the last three months. So as you can see here, it tracks your visits, how many times those buttons were clicked and the, how many times the images were clicked. You can see the list of the buttons, the evolution, the click rate, you can see the organic clicks and you can see you know, what is the most popular? What is your audience gravitated to? This is another subset of analytics 
in the sense of you can really use this information to see, you know, what order you maybe want to put your links in. Let's say, for example, like, let's say, look, so this one is 58 clicks. So maybe I want to move this higher up on my smart link because it isn't one of the first few things that is appears when you look at it. It's actually pretty far down, but it has had 58 clicks. So maybe I want to strategically move that higher up. So that's a really great way that you can use these analytics to your advantage. And then, like I said, you can even see the image analytics down here. You can click the number of rows and you can even click on the view the evolution and it shows you the evolution over that certain period of time just for that specific link. And that's the analytics. It's really nice to be able to track how well your links are performing. I'm also going to click on this view live button just so that you can see what that live page looks like and give you an example of what users would be clicking when they are clicking on that smart link link. So this is what ours looks like for Instagram. This is what they see when they click on that link. Nice, customize our logo, the name. It shows all of the important links that we want to drive traffic to, as well as our important icons and that image. It looks really nice. And you can make this however you'd like for whatever platform you'd like. You can make multiple. You can look at those analytics. Again, it is our version of an all-in-one link and bio tool. Who's going to create their very own smart link now? Smart links are a part of our free plan, but going premium unlocks even more functionalities. So make sure that you use the code try free to try any of our metrical premium plans for free for 30 days. The code will also be in the description box below as well as timestamps. Don't forget to stay tuned for the next video. We are going to be talking about metrical ads. Talk soon. Bye. <laughs>